Imagine a training platform that makes labs and hands-on learning more effective, improves outcomes, decreases student attrition, enhances both the student and instructor experiences, and bolts on to any existing LMS. The Lab MS. In this video, I'm going to give you a short tour of the student and the authoring experiences of the Lab MS platform. There are some key issues that the LabMS helps solve for higher education labs and hands-on learning. We've learned by talking to hundreds of educators that when a student walks into a lab, they are walking into a black hole as far as monitoring and evaluating their individual progress and success. This is because they walk in with just a PDF of lab instructions. LMS platforms do not give the instructor feedback to assess how all the students are doing and who needs the most help. Assessments are done after the fact, so there is no real-time feedback for the student or the instructor. There are no analytics, real-time or otherwise, so course development and improvement is difficult to be fact-based. There is no scalability. Collaboration inside or outside of the classroom or use of mobile device enabled by the learning management systems today in the lab. Our LabMS suite is the world's first online learning platform specifically built for digitizing hands-on and lab-based learning. Profs and TAs can convert existing labs in minutes without changing learning objectives, equipment, or infrastructure. The LabMS leverages your existing learning objectives, equipment, and infrastructure. One of the most important benefits of the LabMS suite is due to the fact that every single click, every action the student does is tracked, the system has an amazing ability to roll up not just individual analytics, but aggregate course-wide statistics to give feedback to the author of the content that it's working. Furthermore, the individual tracking allows an instructor to know exactly who needs help and when in real time. As shown by this example dashboard here, an instructor can immediately tell the status of the lab, which groups are ahead and which groups are behind and needing of additional assistance. So let me dive in and show you how it works. I'm now going to give you a quick walkthrough of the student experience inside the LabMS. As you can tell, we're in a web browser. The student has access to this course, Circuits 101. I'm going to click inside it. And now I see there's a series of labs, some of which have been started, some of which have not. I'm going to click on this particular lab. And now the first thing we see inside the platform is that there's a series of steps and a navigation bar along the bottom. Each of the steps is labeled. Some of them are accessible. The green one is the one we're on. Some of them are not accessible yet because there's certain prerequisites we need to meet. On the main body of each step is a combination of text, picture, and video content. And here we've got a video that we could start playing. In this case, the content of the video isn't important. It's just important to understand that in the main body here, it's much like traditional learning management systems, the ability to incorporate pictures, video, and text-based content. I'm now going to move to the next step. In step two, again, there's a little bit more text, but notice now that we've done step two, we can now move on to step three. Inside step three, in addition to text and picture type content, we see here there's some prerequisites listed. To complete this step, you must answer all the assessment questions. So the second aspect of the LabMS platform is the ability to do inline assessment. In this case, the assessment is a table of values. It could just as easily have been authored to be short answer, multiple choice, long answer, and so on. And in this case, when I put values in here as if I was a student doing my calculations, there's a graph that actually updates in real time. And when the student has finished answering the question, they click Submit, which then stores it inside their sandbox and now gives them access to the next step. So on step four now, we see the next feature, which we call just-in-time help. So we're given a little bit more instructions. They're being asked to do something. What it is right now isn't important. But just assume that we're a student that doesn't quite know what to do next. When they click the just-in-time help button, the help tray comes in from the right-hand side. And now that there is some pre-authored content that is available, in this case it's a video, it could just as easily have been a hyperlink or text or pictures. Now this just-in-time help has been authored in this case to appear immediately. It could have been set to appear after a certain amount of time. The system knows exactly when this student started step four, and you can elect as the author to dole out the just-in-time help so that it only appears after a predetermined amount of time. So we've seen instruction content, we've seen inline assessment, 
We've seen just-in-time help. The fourth aspect is note-taking, and in fact, that's a prerequisite of this step. So if I click the Take Notes button, or if I expand the Notes tray, I'm immediately presented with the opportunity here to make some observations. And in addition to typing my observations, I can choose to attach pictures, video, files, any other sorts of content. And when I'm on a mobile device, I can actually take a picture or take a video right from this screen and have it be saved in real time. And when that content is saved in real time, there's a date and a timestamp, and it's tagged to step four, because that's when I took that content. So you fast forward to the end of the student experience. What happens when they're done? They have the ability now to incorporate all of what they've done, which includes not just accessing the just-in-time help, not just taking notes, and not just answering inline assessment questions, but they can generate a lab report now from the lab report screen by selecting which of this content they want to include, as well as, when they see the list of all the steps here, being able to add in observations, conclusions at the end of the lab, and have that all be marked by the instructor electronically against the rubric that was predetermined. So I'm now looking at a sample course, and I'm going to create a brand new lab. We'll call this just Demo Import Lab with a very interesting description. And inside this Demo Import Lab, when I go into it, naturally it's empty. So in this case, I'm actually going to click the Import button, and I'm going to proceed under the assumption that the lab instructions exist. And I'm actually going to open up a Word document. So here we have a lab document that I've already created, which we're going to take a look at. After I click Import, the system will convert it. And what we'll see when we scroll through is a conversion of the content, which includes some pictures, some text, some formatting, a little bit of mathematics. And I'm going to literally click and drag to draw a box, and then click my check mark to create my steps. Step one, step two, and let's just take the rest to step three. And I'm going to do nothing else except click Publish. I can choose when to release this lab, but I'm going to do it right now. And now I'm going to switch over to the student side and navigate to this lab. And when I go back to my courses, I see I have access to the sample course. I'm going to open Demo Import Lab. And we see, even as the author, I've taken just seconds, and I've got a three-step lab here. Now, the author has not taken the time yet to add in any of those di more dynamic features, which add just-in-time help, in-line assessment, and so on. But you can see how quickly we're able to start from scratch when we know exactly the content, because we have a lab existing. So, for example, if I wanted to add just-in-time help to this item for step two, it would be as simple as typing in here. And if I... Go ahead and click Done, and republish that. When the student comes back in and sees Step 2 for the second time, the help is there. And if I wanted to do, for example, a multiple choice question at the end of that step, add an item, inline assessment, multiple choice, give it a wait, Set up my answer type, say done, and then republish. And in literally seconds, the author is able to make this not just an interesting online experience, but now a dynamic one with integrated online help and integrated assessment. For more information on this product, including a free trial, please contact us at the number or email shown here.